Hello guys, it's ASPLT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're talking about one of the best smartphone accessories. If you are looking to get hands on with certain products, you want to do a bit of filming and you don't want to buy new camera equipment, you want to create videos using stuff that you already have. Pretty much everyone has a smartphone and using this Xiaomi gimbal, you can do just that. I think. I've not unboxed it yet. So let's get this unboxed and see exactly how it works. And of course, I'll show you where you can get it from. So let's get straight to it. Right, so you want a cracking smartphone accessory and you want to do some filming using only your smartphone, whether that be for tech videos here on YouTube or something else. Now, recently I've been at a few different smartphone launches, so I know firsthand how easy it is just to have a gimbal in your bag and then you can, of course, use your smartphone, which is just in your pocket. You don't have to carry big, expensive camera equipment around. This retails for about £100. So for £100, add it to your smartphone and you've got your own camera equipment. As long as your smartphone can film in 1080p minimum, most nowadays film in 4K, then you're pretty much good to rock and roll. So let's get this unboxed. So right, so here we have it. Of course it is in white, which is very nice. So on the back we have a 5000 mAh battery and then unfortunately my Chinese isn't that great. So I'm gonna move on quickly from that before I'm found out. I didn't, that didn't go according to plan at all, did it? Right, so in here, which fell out, we have the manual, which just check in is all in Chinese, but that won't stop us. And then inside here we have our charging cable, which is micro USB. And here we have the actual gimbal. And straight away, it's got a an... very windy outside. If you can hear that, I don't know whether you can. It feels very nice quality and it doesn't feel too heavy, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of filming for a good few hours. Now my one criticism straight away is that it doesn't have a, a flat base. Now you're gonna be using a gimbal in your hand most of the time and you're gonna be moving. So that shouldn't be a problem for most people. But some gimbals actually have a flat base as well. So you can rest it down on a table like so, if indeed you are looking to capture a stationary shot and you don't want to actually have to hold it. Something for Xiaomi to possibly think about if they're looking to do a future model. Right, so here we have a zoom switch so we can zoom in and out on your smartphone once you connect it up via Bluetooth. This is like a recenter button as far as I'm aware. So if you're moving around and you feel that it's just rolled off axis a little bit and you don't think it's calibrated correctly, you press that and it'll recenter it. So that's a pretty handy tool. On here, we have our joystick to move the the actual smartphone around this bit here and we have our capture to take a photo and we have our on off for recording video so we've just powered it on and as you can see this gives you an indication of the battery life as well which is handy to know when you're out and about and you'll need to know whether you need to find a charging facility we also have our charging port here which we can just flick up as you can see and there it is nice and easy to find and it goes down nice and easy as well right so you'll pop your smartphone in here like so and it fits really quite snug and then you'll need to make sure that you then adjust it so that it actually balances because you want your smartphone to be roughly around there and then when you calibrate it using that double tap feature on the back there like i mentioned at the start there you go it's now calibrated in the center and then you know you can move your smartphone around using the gimbal and it'll work absolutely fine no problems whatsoever hiya no i'm i'm in the middle of filming you can obviously connect out via bluetooth to your smartphone to take use of the sort of record and take photos etc buttons on here but the actual app that you download from the google play store which i'll just show you quickly me gimbal there and then you open it and it is in English, so it's really easy to use. And it gives you some instructions of how to actually set it up. So it's picked it up. And now, as you can see, it actually has its own camera app once you're in there. And you can obviously do things with this. So like now, as an example, I'll take a photo. And there's a bit of a delay, but it does take it pretty accurately. And then, of course, you can press that button there and it starts recording as well. Or you can just use it without Bluetooth, just using the joystick on here and just pressing manually on your phone. So as you can see here, I can manually turn that on on there, but then still control it using the actual joypad like this. And it still works really, really well. So you don't even have to connect it via Bluetooth if you don't want to. If you want to say battery on your phone, for example, it'll still work absolutely fine and you can still get some great shots. And the actual joystick is really, really smooth when panning and going up and down, for example. It's not too fast as well. Some of them are very jerky. This one feels very smooth. So you can get a nice pan 
Look at that. Really nice slow pan on there. Probably an awful angle because I can't see what I'm looking at, but you get an idea. I'll pan up a little bit. Look at that. Just really, really smooth. Really nice slow pan here. It's not going to be as smooth as on a tripod, for example, but nevertheless, you still get a pretty smooth shot when you're moving around like so. Jobs are good and even with the current top flagship phones, if you're filming in 4K at 60 frames a second, I'm pretty sure every single smartphone only uses OIS and not EIS, which of course the electronic image stabilization tends to work a little bit better, a bit smoother anyway, when you're on the move. So on the OnePlus 6, for example, the 4K at 30 frames a second actually looks smoother than the 4K at 60 frames a second because of that EIS. When you've got a gimbal, you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. If you're now doing tutorials on certain products, for example, or you're at a launch event, and you're doing a hands-on you can obviously have the phone in your hand or whatever product you're actually doing a hands-on with and you can then take some really smooth footage using the gimbal and you don't have to worry about it looking shaky and unprofessional you can even use it as a selfie stick if you want why wouldn't you and again if you're bluetooth up you just press that button and it'll take the photo you don't have to press the photo on your phone so there you have it you get a rough idea of what this gimbal can do if you are interested i will leave a link to it in the video description below so you can go through and get more information or indeed go and purchase it i think it's one of those accessories that if you are looking to get some really good stable videos on your smartphone and you don't want to spend an absolute fortune on camera equipment then for 100 quid you can buy this and it also means that even your phone even though this phone does your phone does doesn't even have to have stabilization because you've got a gimbal anyway so that's pretty much it let me know in the comment section below what you think about this individual gimbal like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful subscribe and hit that little notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time i post a video on anything tech pretty much daily content on this channel i love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one cheers be your peace out